Here, go sit in Viparia to try and discourage Masamune from stealing it. Even though if he goes there, you will all immediately retreat. No evolutions, huh? Still no Lampant? Break skateboard. Well, next turn, as long as nothing happens to change it, we can take Avia, and then we can just hold Avia and Viparia. Which will be nice. All right, let's get our money, and let's get some... some development going. Bum, 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 bum. We're so loaded. Good money, good money. We've almost finished maxing out Ignis. This thing doesn't level up, right? Yeah. Alright, give me the highest wisdom and then the two lowest wisdoms. Just you three. I don't know if this is going to be enough to get it all the way. Oh, it was literally like one short. What the heck, dude? That's illegal. Well, surely it'll go better this time on this one. Okay, there we go. It worked on that one. I had the right idea. It's fine. We can just have one person spend 500 to max out that other one. Then the other five can max out the Panagiri shop. Floating Rock Level 2 is an evil map. Floating Rock Level 2 is the worst map in the game, yeah. It is truly terrible. Nobody likes that place. Oh, this might... Will you get all the way to level 3? Nope, but close. Both of those level 2s can easily get to level 3 next month with a cheaper amount of money. So that'll be good. And then you guys suck at leveling up Violite, but keep at it, I guess. Slowly but surely. Ba -da -ba. Yeah, three, three months of 2k apiece gets one thing from zero to level three, which isn't the worst ever. You guys are actually really good. Which is why you're all gonna move to Cragspur soon. And then we will buy many things from Cragspur. Oh, we can get Sneasel to spawn at this ice mountain. I don't know if we can because this is the psychic place, but... We'll get Sneasel to spawn at Yaksha otherwise. Yeah, after we take Avia, we're gonna post up in Viparia and Avia. And then we're gonna start recruiting unique people and getting people perfect links and whatnot. And I just wanna, you know... I want to take a little bit of time in this episode to get a bunch of perfect links on mainly Warlords, but it'll also be really nice to have it on... to have some perfect links. Ah, oh, there goes Mitsuhad. I think it's just Yasu up there. I have just returned, just as you requested. I have brought Lord Motaharu, Lord Hanbei, Lady Oichi, and Lord Kanatsugu. Oh, it's the four general thing. I never remember what triggers this. You guys seem pretty strong. I think I want to appoint you as the four guardians of our army. Lord Motoharu is the guardian of power. Who the heck are you, dude? Who are you? The fact that this can happen to normal warriors and not only warlords is hilarious to me. Hanbei is master of wisdom, of course. Kanbei is crying in the corner. Oichi is the most charismatic, yeah. And Kanatsugu is capacity, apparently. Yeah, Abra is super happy. We gotta get you a Kadabra before we leave this episode for sure. Uh, let's, let's take Avia. And then we're going to move the people from Illusio to Cragspur, because I want to level up Cragspur. And then after Cragspur gets leveled up, their next location is going to be Yaksha, so we can get that Sneasel. Actually, I should move the people from Ignis to Cragspur, and then move the group in Illusio to Yaksha, because the group in Illusio is the one with Konoichi. Defeat all enemies. Alright, Avia is annoying. That Rufflet is probably coming straight this way. We want Raichu to get to the Rufflet. 
I'll have you and Daywat jump over here. I'm so sick of having this Litwick dude. You know, I should really actually switch. We shouldn't be using two fire spin mons at the same time. I'm realizing now. They're not fire spin yet, but like... Having a team that has both Chandelier and Infernape is pretty redundant, is what I'm getting at. But also, you know, that's what the story started us with. So we might, after we get the Chandelier, and if we get Kanbe to evolve, I don't know if it'll even be relevant at that point, but we might switch him with another Warlord, potentially. If we have another Warlord that we'd rather get to level up by the end of the episode, or to evolve by the end of the episode, I mean. Dude, this Frostmoth is so friggin' dead. I get to rally here, too. Just making sure Daywalk gets out of the way of this fire, or not fire spin, flame wheel. Nope. Yeah, goodbye. Flame wheel! Nailed it. Hanbei and Kanbei both need to be in the army to evolve, I think. Yeah, I got them both. I started with Hanbei and Kanbei. We got them. This is a Hide Yoshi story. You start with Hanbei and Kanbei. Is there any world that Litwick gets this kill? If I delay it for an extra turn, yeah, which I will do. Because I want Litwick to get this kill. Hey look, another Litwick. I need this Litwick to evolve, man. Hey Rufflet, come down here. Come on, you know you want to hit this, this Servine. Look at this juicy snack. You know you want a taste of it. Ah, dang it. I needed the Litwick to stay over here. Yeah, you dumb idiot. Prepare to get Volt tackled. Ow. Thank goodness you didn't go on the jump thing. My Litwick has worked so hard for this kill. Aw, oh, don't die to burn. Thank goodness. All right, back over here to get the Litwick. Wait a minute, you jump first. I don't know if there's enough space for two Pokemon to jump here. Yeah, this might not jump him the whole way. Yeah, I figured. All right, goodbye to you. Why couldn't you have gotten the crit a turn ago, dude? What the heck, bro? Why you gotta do me like that? Sorry about this, Servine. You're half dragon, so it's fine. And your other half is grass, which also resists electricity. All right, now we just have to kill this Litwick. Don't go on the jump platform. Thank you. Daywat, get us out of here. Play us out on the crab shell. You definitely don't have a crab shell. You have like a shell shell. A shell of razors. You sit on a throne of lies. Money! All right, got Avia. All of the south is ours. They might suddenly steal Viperia from us, but that's fine, we'll take it back. Masamune just attacked Mitsuhide, so I don't think he'll attack this month. So we should be fine. And then we can hopefully set up some defense. Set up some defense of, like, our big warlords and probably just set them to train so they slowly get, like, a little more Link to work with. Alright, you guys are going to Yaksha. I didn't... Did anyone answer me in chat earlier? Can Sneasel spawn in Yaksha? Aren't Sneasel normally swarm mons? I hope that this version of the game has Sneasel spawn normally if they are normally swarm mons. 
I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that uh, username put all of the Pokemon into the normal pools. Yo, now we're talking. What is that stone? I wonder. Pessimistic. What a what a good name. Welcome to stream. He said only main story has swarm spawns unless you patch it. Yeah, I've, I've got the patch. I have the 3.1 patch. So they should spawn. Worst comes to worst, we'll use a code. We're not trying to 100%, so using a code just to get Konoichi a uh, Sneasel is fun. Use the shovel. We haven't failed a single one of those in this episode. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Alright. Let's finish up Ignis here, and then I'm gonna move you guys to Cragspur next month. Do Yeah, do this. And then max out Ponagiri, hopefully. Is this gonna work? Let's go. Now I need these other three to max out the floating rock, please. 92 wisdom, look at that guy go. Oh, this barely needs anything. Here, take 500. Right, that was the one we tried to do this with a second ago and came up like $0.1 short. All right, so we should be all maxed out here. Did Masamune get Kai? Uh, looks like he doesn't have her yet, at least. I would like to get Kai and get Darumako for her. We need to start keeping an eye out for Warlords from here on to recruit. Because I want us to get as many... Oh, there's Shingen. I really hope that uh, they don't get Shingen. We need to get as many perfect links in this episode as we can to make future episodes smoother. The floating rock is level two, hooray! Let's go! All right, and then just take me to the next month. Oh, Masamune is attacking Yasu. Is he gonna take him out? He did, so it's just Masamune. He got all of Yasu's army. And he's got Nobunaga. This is actually gonna be a, be a little bit of a fight. This is gonna be a little bit of a fight, I'd say. We definitely have the advantage, by far. But uh, he, he's got a lot of good warlords lined up there. Why does Magoichi have a Whimsicott? That's not what he normally has. That's interesting. All right. So we want to upgrade this place so that we can get Sneasels. Who's this over here? I'm not worried about getting Ujiyasu right now because he starts with his perfect link. So we don't have to worry too much about getting our hands on him. So I'm not going to worry about it. The only warlords I'm going to go out of my way to be like, oh, we should get them recruited are warlords that we do not have perfect links for already. He used to have Carnivine, Levitate Grass Replacement. Ah, that makes sense. Right, because Whimsicott has Levitate. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you idiots can get out of Hyperia now. Go... Go to Illusio, because we already leveled that up a little bit. And then I'll send you guys over to Illusio as well. And then honestly, I'm, like, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna put these idiots on develop. We will look at them later to try and get them some perfect links. You guys have maxed this out, so you can move on over to Cragspur now. Let's get to work on leveling up Cragspur. Because I want to buy a lot of evolution stones before we leave. So immediately start leveling that up. 
nice, nice, nice. It is so nice not having to worry about waiting for the stupid traveling merchant. Good change. I'm just gonna set you guys to develop for now as well. Get to work, losers. Who's here? Who is this? All oh, right, that's Schengen. We already looked at that. I thought that was last month for some reason. Not seeing any other unique warlords that interest me at the moment. Let's get this money. Literally every time. I will never say don't help. Never. That was last month you saw Schengen. He's back. Oh, he's still just hanging out, huh? He's that desperate. Well, I'd rather he be desperate to join me instead of over there joining Masamune. Uh, and then, honestly... Why don't you guys just do a... This, this also boosts Link with your Pokemon, doesn't it? Why don't you guys boost up the Ponagiri shop in case we need to get some energy to get some people to evolve? Grab him so he doesn't grab you, exactly. Who is not automated to do something that hasn't already... Oh, you guys. We're on Hideyoshi's story right now. Level up this gold mine. You gotta spin gold to make gold, baby. Alright, is Masamune gonna attack Viparia or anything? Honestly, I'm fine letting him take Viparia and Avia back and forth and then me stealing them back. Yeah, it's fine. This will be a good way to up the link on our main team right now. A really strange looking man is approaching. Ah, oh, it's user. Hey, username, look, it's you. Merchant user. I'll buy from merchant user. He seems like a stand-up guy. Large sack is stupid. Give me, uh... Give me two of these. Because we might need them down, down the road. And give me two of these for the same reason. Here's hay fever. Cold medicine. Aren't these for, like, random events that can happen? You, like, hand them out or something? Oh, whatever, I'll take them all. And then one protector. I doubt we're gonna run into that many Rhyperior dudes. Alright, well... I actually don't have enough time to go fight Viparia. We'll fight Viparia next time. Let me look here real quick. No snezzle. I need the snezzle. All right, let's max out the floating rock. There we go. Because boy howdy, I do not want to have to go to floating rock too. Honestly, if a sneezel had been there on floating rock too, I probably would have just waited for another sneezel. If I'm being completely real with you. All right, I need money. Spent all my money on on cloths and cold medicine. Use the gloves. That would have been the one bad time for the gloves to fail. Not bad, not bad. I'm just going to set you guys to develop right now as well. Not bad. And then you guys are building up this place so that we can buy the stones and all, which I actually think we only need the shop to be at level 2, but... We'll get it to level 3. We're just gonna max out Cragspur. 
Not bad, not bad. There's a park! Oh my goodness, what are the odds? Alright! I think we will probably wrap up here for today. When we come back next time, we'll take back Viparia, keep boosting up the main party to try and get them to evolve and whatnot. And definitely next time, there's going to be a lot of just going between Avia and Viparia, and we're going to try and get some people some perfect links who we have in the, in the army that can get it. We're going to try and keep an eye out, even though I didn't do it right now. Try because there's one here in Cragspur I didn't check. Oh, no, that I think that just that part just popped up, so I couldn't have gotten it. We'll try and recruit some other warlords that we might want to get perfect links on and whatnot. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of like pump the brakes and just get some perfect links. And then we'll go clean out Masamune, get these guys fully evolved, and move on to the next story. We definitely won't stay in this story all of next stream. So let's save the game, and we will call it a day here. Good, good stuff today. Good progress, I would say. Still can't believe we pulled out that Kenshin victory. That was something for the history books. And uh, yeah, great stuff. So for those of you watching on YouTube, if you want to catch these live, link to my Twitch channel description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate your support either way. And until next time, farewell.